This video demonstrates how to create the helical sweep or a spring. Click on the new file creation. File New. Under the new file, pick on Part. Enter the name of the file as Helix. Two words in the file name should be separated by a hyphen or an underscore. Cancel the default template that is inches template. Pick on OK. Under the new file options, use millimeter as an unit. Pick on OK. Switch on the datum planes. Now pick on the sweep. Use helical sweep. Under the references, pick on define. Select the datum plane. Pick on sketch. Pick on reorient or sketch view. Observe or remember that for helical sweep the center line is must the first and foremost thing need to be drawn for helical sweep is the center line center line defines the axis of revolution of helix now draw the mean radius of the spring or helix and height of the spring by using line. Draw the line from this end to this end. Middle mouse button to deactivate line. Again middle mouse button to deactivate the line. Enter the radius of the spring as 50. Enter the height of the spring as 250. Observe this is the start point from where the helix will start revolving about an axis. Pick on done. Now define the cross section of the helix. Rotate the model. You can observe the drawn line is over here. Draw the sketch at the intersection of horizontal and vertical lines. Pick on circle. Draw the circle here. Enter the cross section diameter as 15. Pick on done. This creates a helix of constant pitch value of 25. The pitch value can be varied. Pick on pitch. Right click here. Add a pitch point. At the start point the pitch is 25 and at the end point the pitch can be varied to 75. This is how the helix looks like. The pitch can be varied by adding the new pitch values. Right click Add pitch point. The pitch value to be of 50 at a distance of 150 from base. You can observe this is a helix which is having the variable pitch of 25 at the beginning, 75 at the end and 50 at a distance 150 from base. This is a right-handed helix. You can observe the winding of the helix is in clockwise direction. The observation can be from any end. The winding direction remains the same. Hence this is called as right-handed helix. Change the helix from here.
pick on done to complete the definition of helix fit view pick on default orientation this is how the helix can be created thank you for watching this video for more videos visit my channel